restorative approach really centers community. At its core, it's about relationships. And when we experience conflicts or harms within our community, restorative practice provides us a method for addressing those harms or conflicts with special attention toward rebuilding trust and repairing harm. When you're talking about harm or conflict, a lot of times there's been a lack of communication somewhere. And so the circle process really makes that very clear um, and it, it gives opportunity for folks to really talk to one another. It, it's a little bit different. It, 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 it kind of flips the process a little bit on its head. It, it, it starts from, from rather than us looking at who did the harm, it starts with how were others harmed. It gives them that voice. It creates the opportunity for empathy to be created. Uh, I believe empathy is something overall lacking in our society, and I, I think restorative justice offers us the opportunity uh, for, for those involved to develop empathy. Restorative practice really strives to tap into the collective wisdom of the community to identify solutions, asking questions like, what can be done to meet this need? So a restorative conference is it's sort of like a, a circle conversation. It's facilitated, um, but everybody sits in a circle. So you have the person who's caused harm, um, you have the person who uh, who was harmed, um, and both of those people can have a support person or an advocate with them as well. Um, and if there are other parties who have been harmed as well, um, they sit in that circle too. It's more of a, a communal agreement reached by everyone who's been involved so that the community can be healed together and move forward um, leaving the, the harm in the past. Community building circles are really a fantastic opportunity for folks to get to know each other or just know each other a little more deeply. One of the best things about them is that we use a talking piece and so it invites one person to talk at a time or just hold the space. So when you're holding the talking piece, you hold the space and everyone else is invited to listen really deeply. People feel truly listened to. We're really inviting that silence or that space for folks to bring their experiences into the circle um, and really just uh, feel heard and feel listened to and, and learn from one another can be really, really powerful. Our Catholic social tradition calls us to create and sustain just relations so that all people can thrive. And ultimately, that's what we want for everybody in our community, students, faculty, and staff. We want everybody to thrive at the University of St. Thomas.